Hello, folks and blokes. This is Psycho Anto. I finally got my tablet. So now I'm doing the request to show you how to get ROM hacks to work on Android. Um, this is not in the title, but it might work for PCs as well. So you're going to need free apps. Okay, so go in the App Store or Play Store. Um, no, you don't want me recording thing. <laughs> right. Um, you're going to want three things, okay? 7-Zipper. Okay, 7-Zipper. I did a double I instead of double P, but it's this one. 7-Zipper Fire Explorer Zip 7-Zip Ra. Okay, install that. It's free. Um, the next thing you're going to want is... Um, now, this is the patching, um, the, the thing that makes the ROM hacks work. My favourite one, okay, it's free, and it's called Uni, Uni Patcher, which is on a search here. Uni Patcher, it looks like um, sort of a PlayStation 1 controller or whatever. Install, and we're going to want one more, and that's the emulator itself. Now, the ROM hacks I'm going to show you was requested by someone, so I'm going to, but sadly, I'm very sorry to say, this emulator does cost. You can always get it free from Google, like APK Now and all that. Um, or AP, yeah, so. Uh, but on the Play Store, I want the Mega Drive emulator, as I'm from the UK. But this, uh, I don't know if this, uh, this emulator will be other countries. It's definitely here. MDMU, uh, dot MU. Uh, Mega Drive emulator. In, in other countries, it's known as a Genesis and that. So, you might... This title might be Genesis emulator in your countries. I don't know. So, we got those apps. Now, we need... Okay, we need to get the ROM hack working. So, I've had a request for... Um... Oh, what was it? Um... Yeah, me, me searches, of course. <laughs> uh, I've, I've got nothing to hide. I don't look at porn or anything. Anyway, um... First thing we want to look is we need the patch, okay? So for my request, I've got... We're going to look for a Fantasy Star 1 ROM hack. Fantasy Star... Just put Fantasy Star ROM space hack, okay? Uh, and we want to go to the top one, which is romhacking.net. And then we got Fantasy Star. Now, this is a Super Master System game. But it does always work on the on the uh, Mega Drive slash Genesis um, emulators. Which is best. Um, there's not many emulators that do just Super Nintendo. Uh, oh, sorry, um, Master System. So, and there's more functions on uh, the Mega Drive one. So, um, as I'm doing the playthrough of Hordes and A, we got two new patches. Now, one of them was released in May 2019, which is like last year. But we got a brand new one that came out on the 27th of March, which was a few days ago. Because it's the 31st of March 2020 at the moment. Called Alice Brunette. It's completely useless, okay? All it does, it changes the main character's hair to brunette. Not because her hair is originally black. So, we got translations and all that. So, we want the Hordes and A, okay? So, click Hordes and A. Uh, go right down, okay, go right down, you got the, what the thing is, now, look at this, the top, if I can highlight, the top thing, okay, you want, you want, Fantasy Star, US or European version of it, and you've got to have the dot .SMS, that, we'll, we'll come back to that later, so first, we go to download, okay, then we got to put a password, so we zoom in, hold, the password, copy, go into it, uh, that's it, now, hold, paste, there we go, now get rid of that, and then clarify I am human, because, you know, bots are, s robots go on the internet, do not they? <laughs> so, if we look down, yeah, uh, okay, uh, Hordes and A is, uh, is downloaded, so, now, we need a 7-zipper, Alright, piss off. Yeah, as I see, I've just downloaded it, so I'm going through, slide down. Right. Go into my, what, SD, go into SD card. That will be your, 
where it will download. There you go, download. Got me games, Breath of Fire, I'm playing at the moment. <laughs> um, Hordes and A, so you just tap it. Then you can run it in the background while you're doing something else, but this literally takes seconds. So just go to OK. There, done. Done, OK? Then you go to Close. Then we go out of there. Then we go into Mega Drive. Uh, OK, uh, access me games, yeah. Go into Load Game, Download. The, don't do the zip. Do the one that's not... It's not there. Hang about. So if I go into me, uh, me Files... Uh, international storage, downloads, ho um, hordes and A. Well, it says it's there. So why isn't it showing up? Well, I will show you. That's where Unipatcher comes in. Now we need the original. Now if we go back, so to a uh, Fantasy Star ROM hacks. Um, yeah, hordes and A. We go all the way back down to hordes and A. Um, it says at the top here, we need the original Fantasy Star, which is US or European version. The others, don't worry about that. So, um, and of course, SMS file. So we go in here. Well, we'll just type Fantasy Star. Um, you, um, well, I use the US, uh, US versions because, uh, USA, no, just put, um, USA, um, dot, SMS, ROM, okay, however, there are some, uh, websites that have, um, really fucked up, like, um, ROMsomnia, now that will give you an APK, not the, the ROM, which will actually be a virus, so my favourite one that uses for Fantasy Star and a lot of other original is free ROMs. Now be careful of this website because now and again something will come up. Well, no, we've got to wait 14 seconds altogether, but something will come up while it's downloaded. It's not this thing. Now just go to the X at the top. Okay, there on the black screen there is a top on the top right. There we go to direct download. Then we come off before it loads any other pages. Um, uh, let's go down. And we got the normal Fantasy Star, which is done. Okay. So now we need to unzip that. There we go. Uh, Fantasy Star. We Okay. There we go. Done. Close. Right. I will show you another, a, a really good website that has none of that, but trouble is it doesn't have many ROMs on it. The, the website's going downhill, <laughs> sadly. My brother used to work for them before he died, so um, that's why it's going downhill. <laughs> nah. But you go, now we go to Unipatcher, okay? Now it says patch file. We select the patch file, okay, allow. Because it wants you wants to see your files. Then we go in the hordes and they, and you see that what we thought was a game, it was a patch. You see, there's um, oh okay, sorry. Uh, we see there is a plaster sign. So we patch that. Then we go into the ROM, okay, download, and we go in a fantasy star, and there we go, fantasy star dot sms, European or whatever, and then we got the outpost, which will be fantasy star. Patch SMS. So we go to the this save thing. Check in. There we go. We got the notification. See a picture. And it goes patch complete. Um, so what basically what it is. The ROM hack is a pa is not actually in the, in the file. The patch is. You combined the patch and the, the, the real ROM hack together. Uh, sorry. Combined the patch with the original game to create the uh, ROM hack. So now we go into Mega Drive, load game. Okay, we, that was because it was in Hordes and A. There's still nothing there. But we go into the original uh, Fancy Star and we got the one that says patch. So you still got your original Fancy Star and you got the patch one. So we'll go into the original Fancy Star and I'll show you the difference. So I'll just speed this up.
So we got that. So look, he is Alice, okay? Alice is wearing, just take note of this. Alice is wearing a pink and blue shirt, okay? Take note of that. So now we'll go out the game. Right, that's it. Now to see if the ROM hack has worked, we're going to the patch. Now, if the game starts up, it does mean the ROM hack has worked. Okay, sometimes if you've got the wrong, um, the wrong original version it wants for the patch, then the game won't even start. So we've got, we're going to see the difference to make sure it's worked. There we go. Now Alice is wearing white and grey. So yeah, we definitely know the wrong hackers worked. If you're still not convinced, I will do another one. Okay. So I won't have to go into complete details. So we're now we're looking for um, Fantasy Star 4. No, that's an R. For ROM hack. Okay, you want to look for the ROM hack first. And of course, you know, all the way down here, we've got 11 hacks for this game. But they have actually recently added three new ones. A speed one pra uh, practice. Now, what the speed run practice is, I'm just going to go over this, is there is no really no cutscenes. Okay? So it's good for if you don't like cutscenes and that. But I'm going to show you a ROM that had to do this particular ROM hack. It's called... We've got Hell Mode, Double XP, and or pur Purgatory one. I like it. It's very hard ROM hack. Um, um, so we've got in News and art Article. No, uh, News and Art. No, that's the wrong thing. Right. So it says exactly the same as the, um, as the Hell Mode. So we just check a Hell Mode. Uh, exactly the same as Hell... As he oh, right. Uh... We got things like bug fix one, um, level ninety nine and midgar bug fix or whatever mid gid, meg gid, um, right purgatory mode. I'm trying to find that. Oh, here we go. All the characters from hell mode, all the changes from hell mode. All characters arrange three new moves. That's uh, and more skills than hell mode. All equipment in the last third of the game has better abilities and all that. Um, yeah, so basically, um, if you want to know... A, oh, I, I'm going to show you, okay? I'm going to show you uh, descriptions of what's changing. So we go to download. Come on, download. Oh, okay. Oh, right, okay. Could, because I've already put the password in, I don't have to do that again. So we um we should have um uh check there we go purgatory mode yeah so that's that um it's the same as fantasy star um fantasy star one in the US or uh, or European dot s m s file so we just go to fantasy star rom. Now, I'm going to show you a better website to download this sort of thing. Um, so, you put um, ROM, and then you add this website called Call ROM. Okay, you don't have to put CallRom.com or whatever. It will come up, Fantasy Star 4, CallRoms, or CallRom.com. This one doesn't have any of that um, weird stuff. So, we go all the way down. Oh, hang on a bit. Uh, just loading up. Then, you just go to Download Now. Very, very straightforward. If it will, is it? Did it do it? Uh, oh, it's downloading now. Okay. By the way, um, <laughs> bit of a giveaway there to me name. <laughs> oh well. Let's see if you can figure it out with the clues on that. What my actual name is. <laughs> right. Okay. That is that done. Oh, I've just I've just uh, deleted my um, my feedback uh, my uh, notification. So yeah, that should be done. So now we want to unzip that. So we go into download. Um, 
Right, so we got to unzip the purgatory mode. That's done. It does straight away because these um, ROMs are so less memory, so little memory that they get unzipped straight away. It's things like you can see I downloaded some um, um, Dolphin stuff, even though it doesn't really work on this tablet, sadly. So anyway, um, they take longer to to download. So we we got all the things. There. So just press back to get out of the thing. Go back in. It's refreshed. Patch. Go to the thing. The file thing. Go down to purgatory mode. Find the one with the with the um. Oh, what is it? Um, the plaster. That's the one you want. You don't want the other files. The ROM, which of course is Fantasy Star Four. Now it's, it looks like different than mid, but it still works. Okay. Oh, no, 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 I've gone out, sorry, my apologies. Right, so now we go to the save. Wait a minute, did that work? Right, okay, we didn't get a notification come up then, but, oh, well, we've still done it, yeah, as you can see, notification on there. So we're going to Mega Drive, load the game, go back to Fantasy Star 4. It will always be in the original file, the, pack, the ROM hack. And it, we, we won't be able to find out if the difference, sadly, on here, because um, you don't find out till a bit later on when new magics have come along, sadly. So we won't be able to find out if this worked here, but believe me, it has worked, because if it doesn't work, the game will not start up, okay? Um, and the last thing I'm going to show you is... Um, is... Uh, now, is the descriptions of the ROM hack, what's different and all that. So, you go into Files. Um, you go into International. Sorry. Now, I'm not sure if this will actually work. It might do, it might not. Download. Um, so, we go. want to go in the Purgatory thing. And we go in the Doc, doc Me search. Does this work? Yeah, it works good, I think. That, no, 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 it didn't work. Okay. That's wrong. All right. Uh... Is it a text one? Uh, well, uh, uh, the viewer, because I want to view the text. Alright, uh, photos, files, whatever. Okay, <laughs> I did not download that from Fantasy Star Cave, but whatever. But, yeah, you might, yeah, you're going to need the app um, ES File Explorer. I think I've already got that on here, and I no, I haven't. To read, yeah, to read the, the descriptions in the doc or whatever, it will tell you in the README file. That's it, the README file. Um, but I haven't got ES File Explorer. But that's basically how you get ROM hacks to work. You get the patch that looks like a plaster from ROMhacking.net. You get the um. The original file that it does say what's the best file for it to work. Use Unipatcher to combine them together to create the ROM hack. There you go. I hope that has helped you, folks and blokes. If you have any more questions and that uh, for more details, I will be so happy to assist by doing a video. I am really sorry this has taken so long. Um, past two tablets I have had to try and get this thing to work has been a failure. However, I do have a tablet now that just is the best I've ever had. And I'm able to do this video. So that's it, everybody. Take care. Peace and chicken grease. And I will see you on the following Thursday. Because it's uh, Tuesday today. So the following Thursday, I will be doing the Resident Evil uh, 3 remake. I'm not going to see you in the next video. No, that's Markiplier's outro. Peace and chicken grease.